Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very interesting unboxing, something that came in from the Pass Along, the Apex group that I'm part of for other knife reviewers. And I'm super excited to open this up. I think I have an idea what it is and I want to be able to thank the, the manufacturer for loaning this to our group. Um, but let's, let's jump right into it. Today I'm opening it up with my uh, Chavez 229 Redention. Re Redentia, Re oh man, I'm not even pronouncing that correctly. I am struggling. Redention. Redention. Boy, I'm just going to call it the 229. Really neat knife. Just got it in. Still trying to break it in and, you know, figure out if I love or like it or not. So, anyways, let's dig right into this. All right, so I'm having it upside down because there's personal information on there. So, let me just see if we can get right in there without... All right, so is it... Okay, it's a box within a box. Very good. Very good. Okay, cool. All right, so let's, let's open that up. Yeah, I think that's it. So we just need to open one side here. Okay. Okay. All right. You reuse that box. All right. So sweet knives. Looks like that's who had it last. Very cool. Another bag within the bag. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So this is a Cancept knife. So I have not had a chance to check out any of the Cancept knives. So I'm super excited about this. And I think Sweet Sweet Knives did the last one. So uh, if you haven't had a chance, check out, check out this, this, uh, the channel over here. So, uh, you know, it's a kind of cool group to be a part of, to talk to different people. So let's see what this is all about. Because I have never actually handled a, a, a concept, a Cancept concept. I don't know if how you pronounce it. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but a concept knife. All right. So this is, does it say on here? Oh, I don't have the information. Hopefully it says on the knife. Let me just deploy it, see if I can see it on the blade here. Oh, it's one of the, okay, look, look there it is. The Redis. All right, so this is the Redis. Okay, all right, so Redis knife. If I'm wrong, and that's not the Redis, here's the name of the knife. If there's nothing up there, then I'm right. Then it is, in fact, this. All right, so this is a, uh, a Cancept knife and got a deep mill pocket carry clip. Let's see, do I have my magnet? I do. I want to see, is that titanium? No, that's a steel clip. All right, so we got a steel clip, Ma titanium, titanium scales. All right, very cool. And let's see what we got here. We've got uh, uh, S35 VN steel. Can you see that? All right, so that's a very interesting, interesting looking blade. It's got a little kind of a thumb hole sort of thing there next to the uh, thumb stud. Very, very stout, strong blade with a strong tip. Can you see that? So that definitely has some robustness to it. Comes down to a fairly thin edge. Definitely compound grind. Eh, no, it's not compound grind. It's just a compound grind. It is a compound grind, but it's just not... This is flat edge and this is flat edge as well. So it's two different grinds on there. Just different angles and what have you. So here's one edge straight across and then you have another edge going out that way. So that's kind of cool. Definitely has, you know, locks up this frame lock. It looks like we're a good, what, 20%. Um, oh, it's got a little, little dirt on there. We'll have to wipe that off. Hopefully that's just from, you know, being passed around from folks. Let's see if we can get some of that off. Yeah, I don't know. That looks like some stuff that's probably just part of, part of the knife. Maybe we clean it off a little bit here. Uh, there's not much I can do. So this is one of the pass alongs. We can't take it apart. We can't do any sort of adjustments. We can't, t you know, do any things like that. We, we want to preserve the OEM experience of the knife so that the next reviewer can have that exact same experience. So I see the blade was cut out so it fits really flush. You still have that fuller. Let me see if I can get in there. You can use the fuller. Okay. Let's see. Can you, you definitely use the thumb studs. Can we reverse flick it? Yeah, you can. It's not the most comfortable. Those thumb studs are small, and it, you really have to get, you got to make sure, yeah, okay. So, better using that itty bitty thumb hole than it is using the reverse uh, thumb studs. Now, I can use them over here. Let's see, can I do the reverse over here? Okay, so the trick's going to be, yeah, oh, yeah, this is not going to be a, a reverse flick with the left hand. 
I can't really get my thumb on top of the steel deep pocket carry clip. Wish this was titanium though. If you're gonna do titanium scales, just do a titanium clip. Problem with that, and the reason why I say that is because clips like this, if it catches and it bends, steel bends really fast, and it's hard to bend back in shape, and it, it will, it's more malleable, and it's not gonna retain its shape, and it's not gonna flex back to the normal shape like titan titanium will. That's why a lot of people will do titanium clips on their knives, because they 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 retain their, that, that shape right back, so that's cool. Oh, it is a frame lock. As, as you said, we do have an over travel stop, a steel insert. So it does allow us to have uh, the steel um, engagement on the tang of the blade, which is nice. Nice satin finish. It is a very pretty satin finish, I will say. Nice polished kind of satin finish. Really cool. Now I have medium to medium large hands, so I get a full, if I use the hole right there, if that's intended, I get a full grip on here. Probably uh, extra large hands could probably, they would be right here. Uh, if you choke up on this knife, which you can, there's no jimping to keep you from sliding, but it's pretty flat, so you can definitely get a grip, but you can choke up, which allows you to like a double extra large, maybe even triple extra large hands to get in there. Um, it is rounded on the corners. They're not sharp edges. Um, so like uh, the one I opened the knife with was my uh, uh, 229 by Chavez. I like this knife a lot and almost everything is chamfered really nicely except for these stupid little corners here. And that's really uncomfortable. Here it is nice and rounded. And that to me is a benefit for aesthetics and feel. Cause after a while, if you open this knife regularly and that little edge digs in right there, it's gonna give me a blister. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna be the case here with this one. But this one doesn't have that. So definitely comfortable for that. Um, if you needed to do a pull, pull uh, cut, you could. I, I do notice that when I grip here, let's see here. Yeah, there's no really hot spot with that. If I choke up, no, I'm good there. If I do a reverse, the only thing I find is that this clip is, is not very solid. So that's, that's kind of a bummer, but that's all right. That's all right. This is rounded. It's not super sharp. Sometimes those are really sharp areas. Let's look at those screws. It looks like, are they T8s? Yeah, it looks like T8s all around, uh, except for, well, I don't know. Those pocket screws could be, I don't know. I, I have a screwdriver here. Let's take a look. Let's see if it's T8s. I want to see. No, I think it's T6s. So let's get go ahead and get that out. Yeah, it's T6s. And are these T8s? I know those are T6s. Ah, I was wrong. T6s. Yeah, that's a T8 there. So definitely a pivot screw is a T8. Yeah, T8 on the pivot screw, T6s all around. Kind of a bummer, you know, if you have a titanium, it's gonna be a little higher end knife, you know, S35 in steel. You know, T8s, I think it's definitely worth considering putting that in. Just makes it, the knife easier to use and handle. So uh, I do like the roundedness of this. It would be cool if this went up just a hair and you put some jimping on here, you could make that a front flipper. That would be kind of cool because it's just high enough, it's past the pivot, you know, because that's what you do over here. You go just past that and you can easily make that a front flipper if you did that. And it wouldn't take much just to go up a little bit higher. Let's see when we when we lock up. Okay, so all you would have to do is theoretically bring that blade stop back just a little bit, right? And and where it engages is going to be right there where it's rounded, right there. So all we would need to do is just have a little jimping all the way up to here. And if you get that then you could probably, yeah, make that a flipper. That would be a nice little touch. You know, you could have a little multiple purposes. I think people would uh, would really enjoy that. Yeah, that re reverse flipping with the thumb studs, not very successful for me. Uh, uh, the blade and the angle to get to it is going to be just, it's a little difficult. So this is definitely a unique shape. I think one of the, this knife is going to be one of those that you're going to love or you're not going to love it all, right? You're going to love the blue. You're going to love the shape. This 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 shape's going to speak to you. You're going to go, man, I just love that little kind of, you know, hook thing there. It looks like a, I don't know, like a beak or something. I, I don't know. You, you just, you're going to totally dig that. Because I've noticed some of the designers, man, there, you know, there are some really interesting shapes out there, right? Uh, pretty sharp edge, by the way. And like I said, it does come to a fairly thin edge, but it's pretty 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 thick so it's not going to be a thin slicer but it does come to an edge where you, you definitely be able to cut some stuff so that's nice a uh, little bit of sharpening troll don't have a whole lot of room but you do have some so you can sharpen reprofile if you need it to it's definitely a thin edge 
it's not a super thick edge but it's pretty consistent around yeah that is pretty consistent all the way around if you can see that edge width wise it's consistent on both sides so that's nice looking on that yeah that's pretty even and let's I, I did say yeah it's dead center so that's really nice good dead centering on there I like the set and finish on the on the back part here as well that's really cool you got some you know very aggressive tip there let's see here deep pocket carry you're gonna have a little bit sticking out but not much so that's not bad at all and that this little itty bitty thumb stud does work for a reverse flick I will say uh, I can't I can't quite get it to work over here because I can't I can't get leverage enough over here to yeah I can't get leverage enough to pull it over here. And I can't get leverage enough to, to let's see, I'll try one more time. Yeah, I can't do the thumb stud at all. So that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I, I wish the thumb studs were, I don't know, shaped a little differently so you can get that leverage there. They really are out of the way thumb studs though, if you look at this, for as far as the shape and cutting, it's they're really, relatively, really as far back as you can go. So if that's what they were going for, for more maximum cutting edge, they really did accomplish that goal well. So that's nice. Uh, let's see, what are my other first impressions are? Does it have a nice back spacer? Let's see, did we have any milling? Let's take a look at that. Yeah, there's some pretty good weight relief inside the titanium scale. So that's what does make it a little lighter. The blade is definitely the, the heaviest part about this. Let's see, where's the center on here? Yeah, it's right where your hands are, right there. So that's what will feel pretty balanced right there. And the idea of the balance is like if your blades always uh, goes forward, you'll always feel like it's trying to torque your hand. And when it's more balanced, you know, it's not, you're not feeling like it, you're fighting against it to keep it balanced. And that's after a long, long use of a knife, it, it does become noticeable. You'll find fatigue areas in, in your hand and what you're doing. And balance really does help in that regard especially if you're cutting a lot moving a lot it's really more important in swords right if you're like in ancient times and you're in a battle with a sword that would be super important but anyways yeah that thumb stud i can't Let's see if i can... yeah you can get in there but man that's uncomfortable i'm not going to be reverse flicking that much the fuller the, the fuller hole the thumb hole not really a thumb hole because i can't get well, I guess I sort of can get my thumb in there. I can roll it open. It is very small, though. So to me, it's like, you know, if you got big, meaty fingers and you can't get any meat of your hand in there, nail in there, it's going to be hard to work, right? So there you go. Uh, interesting design. I will say this is very interesting. I wanted to try a, a, a concept out or concept out. I've been really interested to see. Uh, I wish the clip was just a little bit deeper. You know, go up a little higher. If you're there, just bend it up a little bit higher. Get a little more deep pocket carry clip. But at the same time, they completely expose the screws here so you can take it apart without taking the, the, um, the, um, the pocket clip off. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I mean, this definitely aggressive, thick blade. So this is definitely going to be a work knife. I mean, as thick as this is, I mean, I, I would, if you're going to need a pry bar, get a pry bar. But this kind of reminds me of a pry bar. It really does. It reminds me I could probably do some work with this one as thick as this is, as the steel is. Not that I say that's what the purpose, intended purpose of a knife. So don't do that, right? Get a pry bar. Get a tool for that. Use your knife to cut things. Don't. Don't do pry bar things with a knife that's not intended to be a pry bar, right? So the action is not bad. It does close pretty well. So when I drop it here, uh, yeah, I don't like that. Okay, so that edge does come down. And it's cutting into my nail. If I did that too often, it's going to cut through my nail. And that is very sharp right there. So dropping that, yeah. So you got to be careful with this one. You can't let that drop on you. It'll cut right into you. I've already seen a couple of good scrapes there on that one. So... It's not intended to to drop like that so like some of my other knives over here so for instance this one here I can drop that and you'll see it catches nowhere near the blade it catches and even if I were go past that there's all this flat part right here of the blade I can catch and not worry about cutting my hand so I can do that and be perfectly fine likewise I can do that with this one here I can drop this if I'm back here and dropping this I'm gonna catch like right there you see that into the finger troll or the troll of blade, it's not going to cut me, so that's nice. But that's not really the case for this one. You just got to be careful. I wouldn't wouldn't do that. 
I will say the aesthetic of this knife don't really speak to me. Again, I think this is really one of those unique knives you're going to love or you're going to hate. Um, it's not something I think I would pursue to own. Um, it's it's very different. Um, it's uh, it's out of my wheelhouse for sure, but it's it's good to experience it because I get to see some of the neat things that, that what, what Cansep does. And so I do like nice, beautiful satin finish on the blade. Yeah, very nice and rounded and chamfered, so that's nice soft corners here. I like the ergonomics of this. You know, even though it is pretty sharp, it's not sharp, scraping sharp. It's, it's rounded on the corners. I don't want to say chamfered. I guess technically it's rounded corners as opposed to chamfered, where chamfered would be more like that, right? Chamfered is where you cut the corner and make it less of an angle, right? So they are rounded and there's no sharp edges anywhere. Even the pocket clip, this is rounded everywhere. So that's nice. Those are some, and the milling on the titanium makes this relatively light. So I like that. It's a good experience. It's a good exposure uh, for a very unique knife design. This is indeed very unique. So if you like this knife and you like the aesthetics of it, please comment down below. Let me know if you have some questions about this knife, this unboxing, something about the knife you'd like me to talk about or maybe answer some questions on, I'd be happy to do so. If there's something you'd like me to focus on on the review, feel free to comment down below. I do try to read every comment. I do try to reply to them all. So, um, you know, there's that. And if you have any questions for me or for the channel or for any suggestions for future content, feel free to comment as well. I do appreciate all of those. Hey, if you like this video, if you enjoyed this content, if you found it entertaining, worthwhile, or just fun to watch, would you consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've hit the like button, would you consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the channel really helps out a lot. It allows me to produce more content, to do more things, and allows the channel to grow. You can do more things and be you know, benefits to you guys as well. I really, I know that. Matter of fact, we're gonna be having a giveaway coming up. So if you watch this whole video, probably already passed, but if you, if you just watch the drop of this video, you know, um, now this video will probably be dropped. I have too many in the queue. So this video will probably be dropped after that next giveaway, but I'll have other giveaways. Definitely have lots of giveaways to go. But um, that's thanks to the channel, thanks to the growth. So I really appreciate that. Hey, if you've, if you've subscribed also, maybe consider hitting the notification button so you can be notified of future content. You can be uh, know whenever we drop some new videos. That would be cool too. And if you've done all of that, then maybe check me out over on Instagram. Again, on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.